now we'll be discussing on the two divisions that is your crown and the root are divided further for easier understanding now starting with the crown here you can see how the crown is divided into three parts this is an anterior teeth mostly a central incisor you can see it is divided into three parts the first part is called the incisal portion the middle is your middle portion and then comes the cervical portion this is your cej the junction of the root and the crown so becomes your cej so this is your cervical line the middle portion and the incisal portion now this incisal portion is called incisal one third the middle portion is called the middle portion and the cervi this is your cervical one third or cervical portion this is your incisal ridge and this is your incisal angle which is normally rounded in anterior teeth these red lines are the lobes we have uh, been talking about lobes in the previous slide these are the lobes which are shown in the red lines which helps in the formation of mammalions and cusp so this is the basic division of the crown now comes the root here you can see the root is divided into three parts this is your cej so becomes the cervical portion of the root this becomes the middle portion and this is your apical or the apex this is the apex of the root and this is your apical portion middle portion and cervical here this is your occlusion in the crown portion you can see cervical middle and incisor portion again you can see this vertical lines the tooth is again divided into distal middle and mesial portion mesial as i have told you previously the portion towards the mid sagittal plane or midline is your mesial portion of the tooth then is your middle portion and then the distal portion so this is the basic di tooth division for the occlus for the buccal uh, posterior teeth you can see how the crown is divided this is your occlusal surface because this is a posterior teeth uh, previously in anterior you have seen a incisal ridge here it is an occlusal surface then comes the middle and then the cervical the root uh, divisions are the same only the change is there is an occlusal surface again the same way it is divided into distal middle and the mesial surface now what is a line angle and a point angle the basic difference between them is if the two surfaces of a teeth meet at a point it is called a line angle the two points when they meet it's a line angle but when the three surfaces meet it forms a point angle here you can see in a cube that here are three surfaces meeting so this is becomes your point angle and when the two surfaces meet they become a line angle line angle is formed by the junction of the two surfaces these are the line angle for your anterior teeth showing with the diagrammatic view this is your mesiolabial where where the mesial portion and the labial portion of the tooth meet that becomes your mesiolabial line angle then becomes your distolabial when the distal portion and the labial portion of the tooth meets it becomes your distolabial line angle the mesiolingual the junction of the mesial and the lingual portion the distolingual portion the junction of the distal and the lingual portion labio incisal this the incisal edge the where the labial and the incisal ridges meet and then lingo incisal here mesio incisal and disto incisal line angles are not existent because the incisal edges of the anterior teeth are rounded so line angles are not formed they should be sharp and not rounded so mesio incisal and disto incisal does not exist line angles does not exist now for the 
लाइन एंगल फॉर द पोस्टीरियर तीथ दिस इज योर डायग्रामेटिक व्यू मीजियो ऑक्लूजल एंड डिस्टो ऑक्लूजल मीजियो लिंगल वेर द मीजियल एंड द लिंगल लाइन एंगल मीट सेम गोज विद द डिस्टो लिंगल लाइन एंगल मीजियो बकल यर एज इट इज अ पोस्टीरियर तीथ यू कैन सी अ बकल सर्फेस एंड द ऑक्लूजल सर्फेस सो इट बिकम्स मीजियो बकल and disto buckle and bucco occlusal line angle and lingo occlusal line angle so these are the line angles of the posterior teeth then comes the point angle it is formed by the junction of three surfaces for anterior teeth you can see the diagram mesio labio incisal point angle the junction of mesio mesial labial and incisal point is the mesio labio incisal point angle same goes with the disto labio incisal point angle then comes your mesio lingual incisal and disto lingual lingua incisal this is the point angle for anterior teeth now point angle for the posterior teeth are these you can see in the diagram the mesio linguo occlusal point angle as this is a posterior teeth you will see occlusal surface here disto linguo occlusal point angle then mesio bucco occlusal point angle and disto bucco occlusal point angle showing with you can see in the diagram also how these point angles are meeting this is the diagrammatic view for the point angle of posterior teeth remember the names you will easily understand all this while doing the carving when you will start with the carving process you will understand the line angle and the point angles first be clear with the surfaces of the teeth the labial surface the lingual surface the mesial and the distal and then you will be able to understand the line angle and the point angles you can see here also before doing anything you can see how the teeth is divided the buccal surface the lingual surface that mesial and the distal buccal is facing towards the cheek the lingual towards the tongue the mesial towards the midline and distal away from the midline firstly divide your tooth in all this four thing and then go ahead with the line angle and the point angle it will be easier for you to understand now this complete my topic on line angle point angles landmark other landmarks tooth numbering system and surfaces and ridges of tooth thank you for following me and uh, uh follow me on an academy to know to get more courses on dentistry and also message me if there is any uh, chapter or topic thank you for the support and follow me on an academy that is dr arshi hashmi thank you and have a nice day